So we just got back from our Pokemon Lost Thunder pre-release tournament. We were lucky enough to get the last two spots before they got snatched up. And uh, yeah, so we built a couple of 40 card decks based on what we got. And these are the three booster packs that we got for, well, we got three each, six total. Uh, these are the ones we got for participating. Constellation decks. That's right. And yeah, I'm very excited to get into them. Get started and uh, see what we've got. Let's start with the Lugia one first. Okay, already I'm quite pleased with what I got here. So Cyndaquil was my favourite starter Pokemon in Pokemon Gold. I'm very fond of him. I'm looking for a, a Quillava and a Typhlosion so far. I may already... Oh, oh, it's happened again. I see that, that familiar shine of uh, possibly Prism Star card. All right, let's try. Let's get get into it. So we got a Cyndaquil, a Poipole. How did you find... Did you play one of those for play today? Um, I had a... Po Poi pole from uh, the build and battle box, which we'll get into in a moment. Yeah, got a combi here. Like Very combi. nice. He's, isn't he sweet? A hound hour, and he's a fire version. We've got some dark versions already. But a fire version would be handy. A cutie fly. Sweet scent. He'll 30 damage from one of your Pokemon. Useful. Ooh. Oh, I have one of these. I got one of these in the build and battle box. This is a duplicate. I oh, love how that. nice this looks. I don't know about that. Well, maybe, but... <laughs> Look at this. I, I would have loved to have put this in the deck today, but I feel like it's not it's not kind of battle ready. It's a nice card and everything. It looks beautiful. Really, really fantastic. Maybe my favorite prism card. Uh, but it's not a heavy hitter. It does 20 damage and can heal 20 damage from itself. So it's mm -hmm. going to take multiple turns to, uh, to actually do something useful. It does have time distortion. Devolve any number of your benched Pokemon as many times as you like. Put each evolution card removed this way into your hand. I guess that's handy if you want to um, save one of your cards who's about to die. Yes. The trouble is in like pre-release tournament. Oh my gosh. Hold that thought. <laughs> I, I like this a lot. Espeon is my favorite evolution. We were talking about this today. Very pleased with him. Psychic Energy. A Lost Blender. This is a new card. Put two cards from your hand in the Lost Zone. If you do, draw a card. Lost Zone came up a lot of, uh, today in our matches. It seems to be quite prevalent within the Lost Thunder expansion. Didn't get to use it in any of the playtesting, though. Yeah, not in mine, but this kid, this this little little guy, this little guy, very talented, very respectful, decent kid, he destroyed me by utilising <laughs> his Lost Zone to increase the damage of his uh, Blaze Cephalon, I think it's called. Good on him. Yeah, he was really good. He beat me. It's it's safe to say. Custom catcher. You may play two custom catcher cards at once. If you played one card, draw cards until you have three cards in your hand. If you played two cards, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. This is another new uh, thing that seems to be coming up a lot as well. There are trainer cards that you can use two of at once. Yes. Really handy. And hit one top. Nice. Uh, that's a new one for me. What does it do? He does, uh, for one energy, he does a rapid spin, 30 damage. Switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. If you do, your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their benched Pokemon. Handy. And then triple clip, uh, triple kick, sorry, flip three coins. This attack does 40 damage for each heads. Hmm. Not bad at all, that's pretty useful. Uh, so good set of cards there. I really like seeing these new trainer cards. I think they're very interesting. And I feel like um, it's possibly part of this new kind of tag team deck thing that they're going to do with those new GX cards that use two Pokemon. I think they're utilizing, um, you know, doubling cards up for extra damage and mm. stuff. Got extra effects. And there we go. So first card we've got is Poplio. I did draw Poplio in my build and battle box earlier. Yeah. Uh, he was one of my guys who was on my, on my team. Uh, and he done all right. I can't say he won me many matches. I won exactly one. <laughs> uh, Skiddo, we've got an Onyx here. Now tell me about this Onyx. Um, I used him in my build and battle box in my Psychic and Electric deck. And he was pretty handy. He doesn't take specific energy, so you can basically load him up with any extras you've got. Mm -hmm. He can do a fair bit of damage at once, and he can take a few hits, so he's, he's a handy little Pokemon to have in your deck. That's pretty brilliant. Yeah, if you can build him up, he does massive damage. Yeah. And we got a Routes. Uh, you know what? I didn't get very many fairy Pokemon in my um, in any of my packs earlier. I got heaps. I got two. Precisely two and none that I could actually use. That's a bit tragic. It is. Oh, and another Cyndaquil. 
And what's this? Ooh, hey, shiny nice. Trico, find a friend, search your deck for a leaf Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. That's useful. Very good. And an Ooh, unknown. I feel like um, we looked this up before. There seems to be a couple of different unknowns in this particular uh, expansion in Lost Thunder. And they've got really weird abilities. I don't know if you can see this, but it says, Once during your turn, before your attack, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, and if you have 35 or more cards in your hand, you may <laughs> use this ability. If you do, you win this game. I mean, if you can amass 35 cards in your hand, then that's fantastic. If Yeah, if you can get that many, I think you've earned the win, but yeah. that's that's got some meme potential there. I feel like we could playtest that and see we how should. easy we'll just that see is how hard to do. It is. No doubt impossible. Lovely illustration, though. I really like that. Basic Psychic Energy. We've got another Custom Catcher, which, of course, if I have two at once, I can play them both at once and get that extra effect. Uh, another another Hitman Top. And who do we have here? Ooh. Megurna. I don't have this guy yet. Uh, 90 HP. Minor Errand Running. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. That's pretty handy. Uh, an Energy Press. 30 plus damage. This attack does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. That could be really useful for setting things up and mm. you know doing a decent amount of damage. And there's our Code card. I've got one more Sun and Moon Lost Thunder Booster Pack to open. And then we'll get on to the next ones. Okay. Picky Peck. Slugma. Oh, I like that Slugma. Yeah, new looking Slugma. That's good. That might be fun um, to use him instead of the old one for the Mag Cargo evolution. Yes. Another Poplio. I've got three now, I think. I can see the hint of a shiny behind there. It doesn't matter. I, I, I don't. It doesn't matter that I can see the hint of a shiny. It's kind of. Charlie with. With the the, shiny, golden, the ticket. golden ticket. Yeah, I've got a golden it's ticket. It's not about the chocolate, is it? Not really. So, ability Wild Dash. If your opponent has any Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. That's handy. I, I feel like GX Pokemon and EX Pokemon, they've, they're have they very prevalent in, um, in gameplay nowadays, so it's nice to have abilities where you can kind of negate some of their, uh, some of their effects. A Yamask. Put one damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Ooh. Hey, who's this guy? Come to Look at that massive snot. Can you not? But that is what it is, isn't don't, it? I'm don't not... draw attention to it. He might be very self-conscious about that. Probably. He's probably got a condition. <laughs> I can't I can't actually read. It's too shiny for me to read what it says there, but I'm sure there's an explanation as to why he's so snotty. A mill tank. Milk cannon, 60 times damage. Reveal any number of Moo Moo Milk cards in your hand. This attack does 60 damage for each card you revealed this way. Huge amount of HP. Could be tricky to work unless you've got those uh, particular item cards. Fire energy. Oh, here we there go. There you go. There's your moon There's milk. that. We'll add that to the collection. And a Vespaquen. Nice. Holy cow. Look at this guy. He evolves from combi. Wow, look at that. 120 damage. With one energy. Yeah, That's if you have insane. four or fewer leaf Pokemon on your bench, this attack does nothing. Holy crap. So you need to <laughs> actually build your bench. It's not without consequence. Useful though. Ooh, oh, and Heracross. Lovely. Very nice. Yeah, Ken Sugimori art as well. I do like that guy. He's done some some fantastic designs over the years. 120 HP. Tackle 20 damage. Powerful friends, 30 plus. If you have any stage two Pokemon on your bench, this attack does 90 more damage. That That's really useful. Very useful. I like how basic he looks. He looks kind of old school in both his illustration and you know, it, it's very simple. There's nothing fancy behind him. It's just, you know, here's just your Heracross. here's your here's your beetle. There we go, into the code cards. So that's it. That's it for my three additional booster packs. I think Lost what? Thunder is great. What did you get in your build and battle box? Ah, I got some cool cards. So first of all, I'll show you the ones that I haven't used yet. Um, I'll show you my 40 card deck in a moment. And we'll show you the other things that we've got. Right, so this is all stuff that I didn't use. Useful stuff nonetheless, but just things that I, I couldn't find a place for in... Um, in my 40 card deck. Got the wait and see hammer, which is, this is quite fun. You can use this card only if you go second and only on your first turn. Discard an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. That sounds great, but it's very circumstantial. I didn't really want to, you know, 40 cards isn't a whole lot to play with. Yeah, you gotta pick and choose your cards. Uh, we got Picky Peck, uh, Trumbeak as well. I like that Trumbeak, what's that uh, ability? This ability, Mountain Pass, once during your turn, 
Uh, before you attack, if this Pokemon is in your hand, you may reveal it. If you do, look at the top card of your opponent's deck and put this Pokemon in the Lost Zone. If that card is a supporter card, you may put it in the Lost Zone. If your opponent has no cards in their deck, you can't use this ability. I couldn't really think of a way to make that work to my mm. advantage in the, the deck that I had. Yeah, it could be tricky. Hello. I, right, I love this card. Look at it. I think that illustration's really nice. Uh, but he's, he's not like a heavy hitter. He's got a lot of HP. Um... I was going for a lot of Pokemon that didn't have specific energy type costs. I was going for colorless as much as possible, yes. which means that to get the most out of this attack, Rainbow Burn, uh, I would have needed more energy types than I had mm. had room for. So he got cold, unfortunately. Great card though. Uh, fairy oh, Charm. There was a lot of play around these Fairy Charms and that was yes. very tricky. Yeah, a lot of people use them to their advantage to great effect. Yes. Right, prevent all damage done to the fairy Pokemon this card is attached to by attacks from your opponent's uh, Dragon Pokemon GX and Dragon Pokemon EX. Interesting. I think there's a few variations of the fairy charm as well. I could be wrong about that. There are. There's uh, different types. That's it. There was one that prevented psychic Pokemon, I think. Yes, that nearly got me. Uh, Netball. Search your deck for a basic grass Pokemon or a grass energy card, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. I like that it gives you the option between uh, a grass Pokemon and a grass, or well, or a grass energy type. Mm, That's that is really, very really useful. useful. I might have to make use of that in a grass deck. Oh, that's so cool, actually. Yeah, I can see the, the cogs are turning in my brain already. Uh, another wait and see hammer. I got a Chansey. That's a cute Chansey. It's very nice, yeah. Uh, sympathetic slap 100 damage if your opponent's active Pokemon already has any damage counters on it before this attack does damage this attack does nothing that's why he was cold that's why he's yeah. in the reject pile uh, I got two of him this was my Raikou. promo card mine too yeah so there was one of four promo cards that you get in your build and battle box we both got a Raikou uh, very nice again this utilizes the lost zone to do 90 more damage couldn't work out how to use that in the deck I had with the particular cards I had, so again, he was in the reject pile. But lovely card all the same. Might be able to make good use of that later. Uh, yeah, another Electabuzz. But he's pretty cool. I do like the art on him. Mareeps. These guys were prevalent. These were very common in um, the Build and Battle yes. box. Yes, I, I won most of my games with Mareeps and Flaffies. Didn't even get to Ampharos. Yep. And I think there's two different versions of Mareep in, in Lost there Thunder are. as well. One of them has an ability. Yeah, these and are the just the basic ones. But yeah, I got a few of those. Uh, his evolution, Flaffy. Signal Beam, 40 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. That's what got most of my opponents. Yeah, if you handy. can get it out, very useful. And Ampharos, this guy was kind of... Uh, uh, not a dark horse because he looks so useful, but I couldn't. I didn't want to risk using him to get him up to stage two. Seemed really tricky the based thing on what is I had. That for Ampharos you need two lightning energy, yeah, and for Fluffy you need two lightning energy. So you need no additional energy to use Ampharos. You can just evolve him and use him straight away. Right, which is pretty useful. The ability though, this is so cool. Once during your turn, you may put two lightning energy cards from your hand into the lost zone. If you do, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. That's pretty cool. If you've got the energy to spare, you can use that to your advantage. Split Bomb, however, is really, really tricky and annoying. It can be very useful, though, especially if your opponent is trying to build up their Pokemon on their bench. And yeah. you've got a few squishy Pokemon there. You can take them down before they get big and nasty. That's it. And of course, because, yeah, it does uh, 50 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Mm. So you potentially could choose your opponent's active Pokemon and yeah. a benched Pokemon, or you know, you could just whittle down the weak guys on the bench as well. And, and what that, could be useful is using works. the ability to paralyze your opponent's active Pokemon yeah. and then take down their benched Pokemon with his uh, with his attack. That's brilliant. Yeah, I didn't see anybody use it quite like that. People, it was there were quick games. We didn't really have time to go into it too much. That's right. But he's got a lot of potential. That guy. Mm. Um, I think it would have seen more play, but the guys I was facing had even better cards than that. They had a couple of GXs. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, some of these GXs were fantastic. Yeah, I got another Yamask there and another. Uh, I got a Pineco oh, no. and a Trico. Same as before, so I've got the shiny version of this now. Beautiful. A Beauty Fly. Nice, I need one of them. I didn't pay too much attention to him. He's a stage two. Uh, I didn't have his pre-evolution, so I couldn't really... Couldn't really use him this time, unfortunately, but he's got Skill Dive. This attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokémon. And Butterfly Edge, 30 damage. If your opponent, uh, if your opponent's Pokémon is knocked out by damage from this attack, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokémon during your opponent's next turn. I see some trades in our future. For sure. And a uh, Cascoon there, and a Chikorita. I do love 
how these uh, these Johto Pokemon have been introduced into this new set, or reintroduced, in fact. Uh, I love Chikorita, I like Quilava, and uh, Ooh, I'm just... looking for a Totodile also. I haven't got him yet. When you play this, so his molting ability is when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put a Shedinja from your discard pile onto oh, your bench. that could be good. Yeah, and X is a 40 plus damage, Flip a coin, if heads, this attack does 40 more damage. Pretty good. Uh, a Skiddo, I think he's a reprint. And There's he your was... other Celebi. Yeah, look how cool he looks. Let's just appreciate him again. Card. It's really nice. There's something about the Prism Star card with the black border. Well, the blackish border that works really well on green, I think. Just comes together nicely. Uh, and we've got Natu. And another one. And we do have some Zatus also. Energy Gaze, 30 plus damage. Your opponent reveals their hand. If you find any energy cards there, this attack does 60 more damage. Yeah, useful I, for, for takedowns. That's it. I think somebody used that against me as well at one point. Uh, a Deden. This is really cute. He's just a basic, doesn't evolve, didn't really want to waste a death mm -hmm. on him or a knockout. So he got cold. Alolan Meowth. Looking very happy with himself. He is very smug as <laughs> usual. Uh, I love the Alolan version. So if you go second, this attack does 60 more damage during your first turn. Could be I like useful. Those. Could be useful. It doesn't, doesn't require, require any energy. energy. That's very useful. But I didn't have a Persian. So he's kind of just dead in the water. He's only got 60 health. Uh, and here we got my basic energy. That I got from the packs. And I think, yeah, we're back round, right round. Are we back round Cyndaquil, Jigglypuff, Snubble? Or is this no, old this stuff, all... new stuff? Yeah, we're back okay. around now. There we go. So I got the Snubble, quite cute. Uh, the Rat. Routes the Jigglypuff and Another Cyndaquil. lovely Cyndaquil. Really happy with that. Um, I feel like, do you want to open your packs before, I would love to open my before packs. it gets too tiring? I've been waiting for hours. Right, so these are the final three Lost Thunder booster packs we got today. Let's start with this one. Oh. Oh, something nice that's, already. That's an hey, interesting that's, looking slowpoke. That is very nightmarish. He looks quite terrified. I'm, I'm concerned for him. Standard slowpoke with sleep ability. Bruxish. Oh, that's interesting. also quite nightmarish. She does look like she's got makeup on. Oh, she probably does. I feel like it's it's a lady Pokemon. Okay, so what have we got? Mind bend, 20 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Or follow the wound. This attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. Potentially handy. Lavatar. Ability is submerge. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, pre uh, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks both yours and your opponent's. Could be useful. Mm -hmm. Carbink. That's a new one. I haven't seen that one before. Diamond Gate. Search your deck for a supporter card and a stadium card. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. And guard press during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes twenty less damage from attacks. There we go. Another oh, Chikorita. Let's make sure his head's in his head's in view. That lovely art. We need to see it. That's like your Chikorita. Oh, He's, finally! Oh, you've got it, and it's a shiny oh, too. I have been waiting for a Scyther for months. Nice, it's a nice one. Very happy with that. It's good. He was fun. He was in my my deck today. Got a two cannon. Ah, good. I just love that gigantic cannon. 160 damage. That's that's not significant. Bad. How does that work? If this Pokemon evolved during this turn, this attack does nothing. Okay. Got some steel energy. Sightseer. You may discard any number of cards from your hand. Then draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. If you can't draw any cards in this way, you can't play this card. This card was very useful today. Because with uh, we didn't have an abundance of trainers to use, and so we've really just got to use what we picked up. And and this card was a card that saw a lot of use today. However, we had to be really careful not to overdraw and deck out on our forty card decks. I got very close. There was one match I had today where I had one card left. Deli bird, happy delivery. Choose any number of your benched Pokemon that don't already have a Pokemon tool attached to them. For each of those Pokemon, search your deck for a Pokemon tool card and attach it to that Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. That's fantastic. That is good. I like that deli bird. Yeah, I think that's Ken Sugimori as well. Very nice. Cascoon. I needed that. Mm -hmm. Cascoon Collector. Search your deck for up to four in any combination of Silcoon and Cascoon and put them onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. That could be useful. I'll have to build a deck around that one. I do love my leaf Pokemon. Very good. 
was a good booster pack. Oh. That's not Pokemon. Indeed. Cub Chew. He's so cute though. I wonder if he evolves. I don't I don't even recognise this guy. I've not seen him before in, in anything. He does look useful though. He's got secondary chills. You can use this attack only if you go second and only on your first turn. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. It's pretty useful. Handy. Tangela, hey. oh my gosh, that's a cute one. It is I like how kind of it's not abstract, but it's kind of out there, isn't it, as far as art goes. Yep, it's definitely different. Mm -hmm. It's got an ability to paralyze. That's useful. Oh, Lolan Vulpix. I this like is, that. This one. must be a new one. I don't think this Vulpix has been out before. Secret alleyway. If you have any fa uh, fairy Pokemon in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. Oh, that could be a fun useful. deck to build. There Snubble, we go. Just like yours. Moraini. Ooh. Ooh very nice. Shiny Yamask. Oh, and a Pyro. Ah, I like that one. Crunch, 30 damage, discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That could be a pain so to play useful. against. So useful, yeah, I like that. Fire energy. Whitney, mm. draw a card, then draw two cards for each other Whitney in your discard pile. Ooh, that could be fun. That could be very useful. We need to pick up a few more of those. Indeed, and there's my Flaffy. You won me quite a few games today. Wow. Kahili, draw two cards, then flip a coin. If heads... If you play this Kahili from your hand, put this card into your hand instead of the discard pile. If you have no cards in your deck, you can't play this card. That could, that could be, be really useful. fun. I like that. Could, wait, can I, maybe I'm misunderstanding this, but can that like stack again? You can't. You can only use it once per turn. Is that right? Yes, because it's a okay. supporter card. I see. But you could use it next turn after that. I don't see why not. Very good. Final Lost Thunder booster pack from our pre-release tournament. Yes. Wormpool, I needed that one. And new litwick. Ooh. I like that one. Yep. Put one damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Pretty standard. Combi. I see something nice and Marini. shiny. Oh, is this a new a new psychic Marini? It does look different. Pin okay. missile, flip four coins. This attack does ten damage for each heads. Could be useful. Otherwise ten damage. Lavatar. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure they're... Too. There we go. Uh, second strike. If your opponent's active Pokemon already has three or more damage counters on it, this attack does 70 more damage. Useful. Look how dainty he is there. He's like a ballerina. Nimble. Nimble Lavatar. Nimble footed, indeed. Ooh, lovely. Reverse shiny Skiddo. Very nice. Ooh, yeah. Oh, wow. So Giratina, he was one of the... He would have been one of the promo cards. Or he was for some people. He was one of the four. Look at that shine. That's great. Oh, that's beautiful. His ability is Distortion Door. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put it onto your bench. If you do, put one damage counter on two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. That's, That's nasty. That's absolutely delicious. <laughs> and uh, what about Shadow Impact? Has Shadow that like? Impact, put four damage counters on one of your Pokemon and does 130 damage. That's very nasty. I like that. And some energy. There's another fairy charm, leaf type. Very good. Prevent all damage done to the fairy Pokemon this card is attached to by attacks from your opponent's leaf Pokemon GX and leaf Pokemon EX. Mm -hmm. They are very mean to play against. Ooh, and a nice Silcoon. What an unusual looking Pokemon. It's a cocoon. I suppose so. Baba. Doesn't mm. this guy, he kind of reminds me of um, the guy in the Emerald City in Wizard of Oz. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, I can't remember what his name is, but that's what this guy reminds me of. Choose a Pokemon tool or a special energy card attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon or any stadium card in play and put it in the Lost Zone. We are going to have to familiarize ourselves with the Lost Zone because I feel like that yes. could be very fun to it play. It seems to be quite prominent in this uh, expansion. Indeed. I don't know how to deal with it. So the other cards I got during play today were Picky Peck, Kecleon, a nice reverse shiny milk tank. Moraini, Poplio, more Poplios, <laughs> another terrified <sighs> Slowpoke. Ninkada. Oh, he's nice. I wonder if he evolves into anything. He does, he had the evolution. Which one was it? Do you recall? Have a look through your cards. Okay. There's some Spinarax, a Trico. That that art is definitely interesting. Mm-hmm. And a Skip Bloom. 
floral path to the sky. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for the jump bluff, put this Pokemon and all cards attached to it in the lost zone and put that jump bluff in its place. Then shuffle your deck. That could be useful. Another little Tangela, a cute looking bay leaf with soothing scent. Chinchu, Blitzel, I had a couple of Blitzels. And there's my Raikou. He looks pretty my magnificent. Lovely Lost Thunder Raikou. Here's the Mary with the ability. Fluffy Pillow. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon asleep. That's so good. That is a pain to play also, against. Also, doesn't he look so cozy? Very, very snugly. He really does. Nice warm lighting and everything. Yep. And this was the other Mary we came across today, which we've talked about. The Fluffies. The MVPs in my game. And the Ampharos. Another little Lavatar. Mm hmm your onyx onyx slugma quilava Ooh. and oh that's right you've got the typhlosion too lovely so how does his ability work blazing energy once during your turn you may use this ability all energy attached to your pokemon are fire energy instead of their usual type until the end of your turn that is fantastic it is and lost flame does 120 damage put two energy attached to your opponent's active pokemon in the lost zone so yeah what i want to say about this when i saw that it had four energy for lost flame i thought you would be discarding your own as you usually do with strong fire type pokemon but it's it flips it right on its head it makes it a, a bastard to play against absolutely i can't wait to use him brilliant some morales deden snubble carbink Shenotic, which I've been looking for for a while. Mm -hmm. Reverse shiny, very nice. Uh, ability is Effect Spore. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if this Pokemon is knocked out, the attacking Pokemon is now asleep. That's so useful. Very. Because in combination with that move, Dreams Touch, 50 damage. Yeah, let's just check that out. 50 damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is asleep, your opponent shuffles all energy from it into their deck. Really useful. A shiny Tapu Lele. Yep. Very nice. Charmed Charm. Whenever you attach a Pokemon tool card that has Fairy Charm in its name from your hand to this Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon confused. With all those Fairy Charms in this expansion, mm -hmm. that could be very fun to play against. Yeah, for sure. And a Tapu Fini. Yeah, you got so lucky I with those guys. I got very lucky. And there's the lovely Espeon. A giraffe rig. I really wanted to use this, but I didn't really find a spot for him. Get lost. Put two cards from your opponent's discard pile in the lost zone. That can be an absolute pain to play against. And Mind Shock does 70 damage. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. And the lovely little Wobbuffet. Shady Tail. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, Prism Star Pokemon in play can't attack and have no abilities. So that lovely Celebi Prism Star card yep. you've got. Rendered Good. useless. Yes. And knock away, 30 plus. Flip a coin if heads, this attack does 30 more damage. That's really not bad for a basic. That's He's pretty got good. A decent amount of HP. 110 HP as well. Yeah. Couple of Natus from my deck today, and Zatus were pretty useful, but I don't like that the Natus are, are very squishy until you can beef them up. And the Poi Pole Ultra yeah. Beast cards. Did you use this guy in your deck? I did. He was very useful. Um, I liked him. Well, the Poi Pole itself, not necessarily useful, but yeah, he's okay. the evolution, Meganadel. The ability was charging up. Once during your turn, you may attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Very handy. I found that. I utilized that in almost every game. Yeah. He was on my bench as soon as possible. And then turning point, 80 plus. If you have exactly three cards, three prize cards remaining, this attack does 80 more damage. I was able to use that. Yeah, that was very useful. Oops. I mean, it didn't help me win, but I was able to use it. <laughs> We've got some nest balls, timer balls, adventure bag. This got a lot of play today. Yeah. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon tool cards, reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Mostly used for those fairy charms. That's right. So very handy in this expansion. Electro Power also got a lot of use today. During this turn, your electric Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Very That's handy tough. for electric decks. I can see why it's called Lost Thunder. Mixed Herbs. I only got one of these, and I think yeah, I only you did got too, one too, so we didn't really get to use them to their full potential. The 
hold on the guy the guy i played uh the that really nice guy we met mm-hmm. he got two suicune gx i saw i played that and not only that <laughs> but he got two mixed herbs as well which yeah. he was able to use both at once his luck was up today yeah i think he deserved it, it was a, seemed really friendly so he was, it was very nice yeah, um, got no qualms listening to him so this one he may play two mixed herb cards at once if you played one card remove a special condition from your active pokemon if you played two cards, heal 90 damage and remove all special conditions from your active Pokemon. So yep. extremely useful if you can get both of those mixed herb cards that's out. That's great. I feel like that's going to get a decent amount of play in upcoming decks. Definitely. Ether Foundation employee. Put three Pokemon that have a Lolan in their names from your discard pile into your hand. That could be super useful Ooh, for some of our decks. Yeah. And standard copycat. How also gets lots of use. Luca got a lot of use as well. Professor Elm's lecture. He is great. He is essential. Yes, he got a lot of use as well. Search your deck for up to three Pokemon with 60 HP or less. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. I just love that. Card. A lot of people were saying he's, today that he's, he's so cute. basically the replacement for Bridget, who uh, yeah. you were able to grab three basics. Mm-hmm. But this is so much cooler. I like Professor Elm, and I love that it's got all three starters in it. Yes. It's lovely. It's a lovely card. Uh, Professor Kukui and a Sightseer as well. So very useful supporter cards, very useful item cards there, and some really exciting Pokemon cards. I'm loving Lost Thunder so far, and mm-hmm. I can't wait for the rest of the decks to come out. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm looking forward to that Entei theme deck. Indeed. Really curious to see what Pokemon it's got actually inside it. What Pokemon and which cards. But yeah, that's it. We had a really good day today. Oh, what position did you come in? Oh, second. Second, very good. And I came, what, fifth? I didn't come last. You did well. I did all right. Not bad. Not bad for a first pre-release. 